Hi, welcome back. This week we're going to be taking a look at the dog bone gadget in Vectric Aspire. So to start off, we're going to generate a box on an online box generating piece of software. The box that I'm building is going to be for a game of Maker Jenga at Maker Central 2020. Maker Jenga is an idea that John made it over on Instagram came up with. I'll have a link to his Instagram profile in the description if you want to go and check it out yourself. The dimensions for the Jenga block are 305mm long by 51mm tall and 102mm wide. Now that we've generated the box, I'm going to save this onto my desktop as an SVG so I can access it in Vectric Aspire. Due to the size of the material that I currently have on hand, I'm going to have to machine this onto two parts of the material. So we'll open up our SVG and I'll delete the parts that I don't need. I'm just going to move the pieces around now just so that I can get a little bit of a better layout on the piece of material that I'm currently using. So now I'm going to run the dog bone detect gadget which will find out where we need to put a little cut into the material to accept the bit we're using. The bit I'm using is a 3.175 or a 1 8 inch end mill. So as you can see that has gone round the perimeter of our shape and put where we need to put a dog bone. So now we run the dog bone fillet which will go round and find those and create the new vectors which we will cut. So what I'm doing now is I'm turning off the first two layers that I drew and this leaves us the shape of our dog bones. Now I'm going to generate a tool path which will be a profile pass and this will be cut on the line. So we want this to cut all the way through. And now I'm going to make sure that I have the correct end mill selected which is the 3.175mm end mill. making sure that I've selected that we want the tool to run on the path. And I'm going to create this profile pass. So we're just going to preview that and everything looks fine. As you can see, we've got the little insert there where the end mill is going to run in so that we can get a nice tight fit on these finger joints. So now I want to select my toolpath and I'm going to save this using the same processor as before which was the GRBL. We're just going to give this a quick name and save it to our desktop. So now I'm going to home the CNC machine. And then this time I'm going to try something slightly new with the clamping down. It's a trick that Ben Crow from Crimson Guitars has recommended previously on his videos. It's using a little bit of masking tape and some super glue. 
This is the first time that I've tried this technique, so I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. So now with the work bit, I'm just finding my work X, Y, zero date and position, which in Vectric Aspire, we set that to the bottom left hand corner of the material. Now that the material has been fully cut through, we'll see if my little trick with the super glue worked. The waste parts of the material were fairly easy to lift off. As you can see, the accuracy of the Workbee CNC machine made a fairly solid box. All that was left to do was to glue it together. So here's the finished box. I haven't put the lid on because I need to engrave it, but it's a little bit of a secret at what I'm doing at the moment because this box is, as I say, from Maker Central. I'd just like to say thank you for watching the video. Thank you for all the support. And if you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you.